Okay, I thought I'd show you um, what I've been up to lately. I'm making some of these birthday cards, and I don't know if you can see how it's th it's really three dimensional. Just I just love the texture, it's so tactile. Um, anyway, making up a couple dozen of these or more. One of my favorite birthday cards. And we just have the, we cut, uh, Leah sat and cut them. She cut all these uh, red pieces of paper to fit the stencils. Put them like that, put them down. And I used to take tape and tape them down, but I found out that I don't really need to. Uh, Okay, and I, I'm using, this is actually an oven mat, you know, for non-sticking an oven mat that we use. And it really works well when you're doing some of these things like this, which can tend to be sticky. And I'm actually using caulk, caulking. And just made sure that it said it was uh, able to be cleaned up with water and a sponge or whatever, so that it uh, isn't, it's not um, going to ruin everything I guess I don't know I'm not even sure if all of them actually are like that but we looked for ones that said that on the back and we've got several colors but for this particular thing we're using white uh, brilliant white as a matter of fact I think it's called and you feel like you are back in grade school and it's always a surprise to see, if it, especially this one. This one seems to be more difficult than the big one. I don't know why. As far as making sure all the letters work. That's an hour. That's why I keep, you know, what a neat nick uh, I am and Leah is. I always have a wet rag here and my bucket over here. And, and you just kind of rub it into the stencil. I think you're supposed to be able to do this with brushes or something, but I like the the roughness and the 3D effect and um, so we don't even worry about keeping it all nice and flat on the top. Uh, I guess it's possible that you can do this, put it on and then scrape the top of it with a spatula to make sure it's all thinner and even, but we really love the chunkiness of it. So, just kind of try to even it out as much as possible. I might have got a little too much here, so we'll get some of that off. This is really kind of a kind of fun thing, I guess. I, I really like doing this. There. Okay. And then the fun part is finding out if it worked. <laughs> okay. Now we'll slide this one up. And let's see if all the letters worked. Oh, I did. Okay. Let's see. Let's look at there. The side pieces, um, after it's dry, you can pop them off. And then I kind of scrape off what's left. Now, let's see if the, this if this one turned out. Awesome. Ta-da! It does clean up pretty easily, especially on this oven mat, because this is a non-stick thing. Um, and then I just don't want to waste too much, you know. So scrape this. Scrape it off and throw it in the warm water. And then you have to clean them up 
and do it again. But this is really fun, and we've been trying to find out. I'm if I can just kind of get. I can probably get a lot of this off right now. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna let the rest dry. There. Um, we have tried some more detailed, delicate stencils, and I mean it'll work, but um, it's it's more difficult. Like it, it's a little more difficult just to even get the happy birthday to turn out right, because sometimes part of a whole letter is gone or something, and then you have to do another one. But and actually, you can scrape it off at least and save some of it if you really wanted to. But um, anyway, this is the project I'm working on right now to make a couple of dozen. Uh, birthday cards as a special order for our Etsy account for Iggy. So, alright. Well, there you go. That's what we're what, uh, working on right now. And the next thing we get to, I'll make a video. Okay? Bye!